I'm Matea Ward. Um, I'm going to be doing jumps and short sprints this year again. And this year I'm just hoping basically to accomplish a lot of improvement since last season. And I'm really excited because Slice has brought some new um, techniques and stuff into our sprinting program. And so I think that'll help us a lot with like our speed and athleticism. And then I'll carry over to the jumps and stuff too. So I'm hoping to PR, of course, in all my events. And then as a team, of course, I hope that we do really well at like regions and conference and state, of course. Um, my name's Sawyer Clarkson. I'm a senior going to my last track season this year. Um, I'm really hoping to make it a memorable season. I just got back from indoor nationals about a week ago in Boston, Massachusetts. So, uh, you know, I think I'm definitely looking to, you know, bring home another title for the 3200, 1600. And uh, yeah, you know, I think uh, as well as that, I'd like to help our team at the state meet. I think we can achieve a lot. It's going to be tough, but um, we have a really stacked team and I'm looking forward to it. So Boston, Massachusetts, I just ran the two mile race there and uh, didn't quite go as I planned. I think I need some more experience at a big track meet like that. I'm not, first time running on a banked hydraulic track, but you know, I think I just took it away as an experience to, you know, gain a lot of information from, and I'll use that in my future, especially running in college. We're at Belfast High School visiting with Coach Slice about the upcoming track and field season. It's going to be a great season, and you got some really good assistants to help you out. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm blessed with our assistant coaching staff for sure. Um, Britt Clarkson, of course, she's uh, phenomenal um, with uh, the distance. Uh, you know, I really don't have to worry about the distance side of things because I've got, you know, 100% confidence in her that she knows, or, you know, she obviously knows what she's doing. She's got everything on lock and it just takes, you know, a lot, a lot off my plate. So that's, that's good. And then um, Kyle Haxton, um, he's back again, um, coaching the throws and he get, keeps evolving as a coach, keeps getting better and better every year. Um, he's got a lot of throwers out and there's a lot of excitement there. So, um, you know, I'm excited to see what he's going to do, and you know, he's got a couple throwers that um, are state qualifiers. So, um, you know, we're excited to see what they do um, with the vaulting. Uh, Coach Mike Ryan, you know, he's really taken that uh, the the vault and turns it into a faction for us. Um, he's got some really good kids. Uh, Lane Longbreak, you know, recently signed with. Uh, um, Black Hills State to go vault there. You know, he's he's going into his senior year, and and just we're really excited um, there. Um, and then we have a new addition, um, Matt Matt Wadier. Um, he was a uh, mid distance runner at University of Sioux Falls, and he's been coaching middle school for us. And um, we uh, brought him up this year. I actually approached him in the off season, and if he'd be willing to um, apply for the the vacant um, position that we had uh, on the varsity team and um, you know he's uh, high track IQ and um, willing to coach any position and he's gonna um, uh, coach the high jump for us um, he's knowledgeable in that area and um, he's uh, gonna help uh, help us with that because that's one of our weak spots as a team just because of the inconsistency of having a coach there with with this, uh, these kids um, and then we have a volunteer that came on, um, Keith Osowski. Um, he recently got done running at uh, Black Hill State University. He's All-American um, in the steeplechase. And uh, he just happened to be uh, doing some student teaching here and inquired about helping out. And I'm like, yep, you know, welcome aboard. So we got him uh, you know, set to go, and he's going to be uh, helping us out with the hurdles. So. Um, in the off season, I was really, you know, wanting to focus on hurdles and high jump specific because, in my opinion, those were our weak spots as a team. So, um, very excited to get going, um, as is the staff. So, a couple three years ago, Slice, you were talking about the potential here at Belfort High School, and boy, was you ever correct. Yeah, we've had, you know, um, a couple state champions: uh, Sawyer Clarkson, Aiden Giffen. Um, you know, Sawyer's coming back. Uh, I know you guys talked to him already today, but, um, you know, the, we're just super excited, uh, uh, like, to see what he does. And um, Lane uh, Crouchin, you know, transferring in, you know, he's, uh, he's a state champ, Class B as well. And um, we just, uh, on the distance side, especially with the boys, uh, you know, we're, we're very excited to see what they're going to do. Um, 
and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we got Matea Ward coming back. Um, you know, she's been a state placer um, the last uh, few years with the jumps, and uh, you know, she, uh, she's obviously when we were talking about potential, you know, her name was right at the top of that list, and right now she's going to be competing for a state championship at the end of the year. That's my expectation anyway. Um, triple jump, long jump, so. Uh, yeah, very excited, and we've got, you know, some freshmen out, some freshman boys, um, you know, that um, did some things for us during the football season, and we're excited to see them uh, come out and, and, you know, contribute to the team. So, Coach, when do you get started? What are some of the big events coming up? Um, well, uh, our first meet is um, Friday the 24th of this month. It's the Rapid City uh, Christian Invite, and we're just kind of hoping that the weather holds. Um, you know, it, the, goodness, you know, since we started, we, our first uh, day officially for track practice was February 27th. And, I mean, it, time is flying by so fast. And, you know, we're just over a week away from our first track meet. And so um, it'll be interesting to see where we're at as a team um, when the 24th comes. Uh, but, uh, you know, I was telling our kids, you know, we, we just go in and kind of treat it like a amped up or a glorified practice, you know? It's like a practice with an audience almost. Um, and then just keep moving forward uh, from there. And uh, some of the meets, uh, you know, that uh, we're looking forward to, we've got plenty of meets, but um, our center of the nation meet here, um, very excited about that one because that is gonna be a twilight meet. Mm. So it's gonna start later in the afternoon and then uh, by the, um, the end of the meet, it's going to be under the lights, and that's something we've never had here. And um, really excited about that because I've had the opportunity when I was running in high school to compete in a couple uh, meets that were under the lights, and I just thought it was a blast. And I'm sure our kids will feel the same. Plus, it's at home too, so what you know, um, just yeah, just exciting. And then of course, um, you know. Uh, Howard Woods, always a big one. That's the, the marks the beginning of championship season. Uh, we don't want to look too far ahead because um, it's still a ways away. Um, but uh, I always get excited thinking of Howard Wood, and I'm always, I'm always thinking about it. So, um, but yeah, and then, of course, the state meet at the end, the end game, when it all counts. So it's, you know, in, in uh, South Dakota, state track, you know, we only have 13 weeks of the season, so it's, it's very short. And so it's, the, the season's a slow build up until the end game. And that's when the payoff comes. So, yep, just one practice, one meet at a time. Thanks, Coach. Thank you uh, for having me again. So looking forward to talking to you guys again. So go Bronx.